Good evening, my dear fangs. Welcome to my Cavern of Secrets. I'm Kasara, the host of the channel. To the new subscribers, thank you so much for your support. Welcome to the fangdom. Tonight's movie review is Weechee and Weechee Origin of Evil. <clears throat> Both films are available to stream on Netflix for those of you who want to check them out, or if you want to refresh your memory of these. There will be spoilers since they came out about 10 years ago. Weechee was released in 2014, whereas Weechee Origin of Evil was released two years later. Even though Origin of Evil is a prequel to Weechee, so it's kind of weird that they did that, but whatever. I also noticed there were some discrepancies between the two, although may not have been discrepancies. They may have been on purpose. Anyways, so Weechee Origin of Evil focuses on a widow named Alexander and her two daughters, 15-year-old Paulina, Lena, and nine-year-old Doris <clears throat> in 1967 LA. Alice works out of their suburban home as a spiritual medium and her daughter is a sister with her scam because yeah she's rigged things to make it believable. Lena and her friends use a Ouija board which is what causes Alice to incorporate it into her readings and through the use of the Ouija board, a spirit known as Marcus makes contact and possesses Doris by pretending to be her father, Roger, who passed. To stop the spirit possessing Doris, Lena sews Doris's mouth shut to quiet the spirit's voices, something that she learned from her father, his ghost, that is. Upon doing so, Lena kills Doris in the process. The spirits that were possessing Doris possess Lena, causing her to stab her mother, and... Lena then is committed to a mental hospital for the suspected murder of her mom and the disappearance of her sister. Which moves us to modern times in Ouija, which follows two, teen uh, two childhood friends, although they are teenagers. But in the beginning, you see them as children, Debbie and Lane, who play with a Ouija board at their sleepovers. In present time, they're teenagers. Debbie becomes possessed and the spirit kills her. Lane, her sister Sarah, Debbie's boyfriend Trevor, Lane's boyfriend Pete, and their friend Isabel attend the wake and they find Debbie's Ouija board. They decide to use it in Debbie's house to communicate with their deceased friend. However, strange things happen and they learn that the house Debbie was living in belonged to the Xander family. They also find that the Ouija board belonged to them. Lane visits Paulina in the mental hospital to get assistance. Paulina explains how their mother went mad and sewed Doris's mouth shut, which killed her. Which we actually learned that, no, it was actually her that did it, but whatever. Anyways, Polina mentions a secret room within the house where Doris's body is hidden. Once Lane returns to the house, she finds Doris's corpse and cuts the stitches on her mouth, finding that it didn't work. Lane returns to the mental hospital to speak with Polina, only to find that Polina was in an allegiance with Doris the whole time and had intentionally lied. Lane's grandmother advises the remaining friends and Lane to destroy Doris's body and the Ouija board. Lane, with the help of Debbie's spirit, defeats Doris by throwing Doris's body into the furnace with the Ouija board. And that's it. The issue I found, like I stated, was that Alice wasn't the one who sewed Doris's mouth shut, but Lena. Which could have been why Lena was working with Doris, because she was terrified of her sister. I mean, that's possible that that really wasn't a discrepancy, but intentional. I don't know, though. I was also slightly disappointed in how they didn't include other rules with the board. So I've heard that you should never play it in your home or where gruesome deaths have occurred. Yet that's exactly what the people did in both movies, thus breaking the rules. <laughs> uh, for those of you who have seen both films, what did you think of them? Have you ever used a Ouija board? Uh, if so, did you experience anything supernatural after using them or during? Uh, let me know in the comments. I'm curious. I've honestly never used one, although I've been asked to. Uh, the only reason I declined was I just didn't see the point. It's... Not something I have an interest in using. Uh, tarot cards? Sure. Ouija boards? Eh. I just, I don't believe in them. And 
on top of that, I just don't get the point. <laughs> yeah, all right, you get to talk to the dead, supposedly, but... Yeah. And I don't really want to talk to the dead. Um, but anyways, that's neither here nor there. Uh, next week, I'll be reviewing Apartment 7A. I saw the TV glow and Immaculate, and they may all be in the same video. I don't know. And the only reason is uh, I did see I saw the TV glow recent, and there's not much I can say about it, honestly. <laughs> And Immaculate in Apartment 7i, there's some stuff, but I don't know. So, I... sorry, that was my pop saying hi. <laughs> uh, regardless, be on the lookout for those. Um, Immaculate is available to stream on Hulu. I saw the TV Glow is available to stream on Max. And Apartment 7 is available to stream on Paramount Plus, if you want to check those out. I'll also return to Subnautica, so be on the lookout for all of that next week. If you have a movie or video game you'd recommend, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. Take care until next time. Good night, everybody.